How's it going guys? Welcome to another brand new video here on TCG OMG and today is part number two of this. Uh, let me just get it out. It is the team up booster box. Uh, nine more packs. We have had no luck with this set so far. Like, I don't know what's going on. It just hates us. Um, so I'm hoping that maybe today we'll get some uh, crazy awesome pulls to kind of make up for it. It's like a sorry for the terrible elite trainer box and kind of mediocre part number one of the booster box. I don't know. We'll see. What is it? Nine packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go. Fight. Wait, hold your horses. We've got to do the pack trick. There's a Mimikyu and a Gengar there. We'll put it at the back. And we'll hope for the best. Pack number one then. Venusaur and Celebi. Oh, man. I'm kind of nervous to, like, to open these up. Just given the luck so far, like... It's been so terrible. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just let's just cross our fingers. Like it can't be all that bad. Everyone else on the Instagram's got crazy pulls. <laughs> We've just had chaff. Oh man, Pokemon Company must have been like, no, we saw that Ho oh Shining Legends box you did, man. Like, no more good cards for you. War Turtle, we've not seen that before. Another Heliolisk. <laughs> Oh man, I got such a good suntan that I burnt all of my skin off my face. Psyduck, Vullaby, Weedle, Helioptile. It's weird. Why is he with Helioptile and bow ties? I don't get it. Alolan Geodude. I mean, that's cool. Reverse Claymation. I love these. So, so cool. They've been doing them for absolutely ages. And a zero energy attack. That's pretty cool. Search your deck for up to two uh, electric energy cards attached to this Pokemon. Shuffy deck. Um, that's pretty good if you've got an energy in hand or you've bunged one on this turn. Pretty decent. And Nine Tails. Regular Nine Tails, not Alolan Nine Tails. Nice, making a comeback. Nine Temptations once during your turn. You may discard two fire energies from your hand if you do switch one of your opponents benched with that active. Weird, like a kind of costly Guzma. Guzma. Guz. Guzlord. Yeah, I don't know. Pikachu and Zekrom then, pack number two. Is it pack number two? Yeah, it is pack number two. I'm so confused. <sighs> Man, what? Don't spoil the ending. That's not actually the ending. Because it's four from the back, not one from the back. Like, I think Japanese packs are one from the back, aren't they? We did Fairy Rise, do you remember that? Oh, seems like so long ago. Nanu! Far-fetched. Execute, we got a Ferris Seed. Meowth. <laughs> Another Alolan Geo dude. Grimer. Oh, cool. All right. Nice. Erica's Hospitality. If we're going to get reverses and nothing but reverses, no other good cards, I want to reverse trainer support cards for sure. And a. Oh, finalement. Finalement. At last. Yes. All right. Finally. Celebi and Venusaur, our first tag team GX card. Oh. That's good. That's. I feel vindicated now. Opening up more packs. That's amazing. It looks it looks cool. Just a regular one, not a full art, not a rainbow rare, but um I'm really happy with that. Oh, 270 on the hit points with pollen hazard if your opponent's active Pokemon. Uh your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned, confused, and poisoned. Oh, crazy. Solar Beam for 150, just flat out. An evergreen GX 180. Heal all damage from this Pokemon. If the Pokemon has at least one extra leaf type energy attached to it. In addition to the attack's cost, shuffle all cards from your discard pile into your deck. That is crazy. I'm interested to see what um, what kind of decks get built around these. In particular, I think Donald from Dark Integral. If you guys haven't seen his channel, check it out. It's incredible. Um, the guy just knows his stuff. I will be very excited to see what he comes up with with these team-up Pokemon. Um, yeah. It's it's going to be interesting. There's some big heavy hitters. Um, although that being said, there's some uh, there's certain regular GX cards out and about that uh, can hit for some pretty big damage. So I don't know. It's going to be interesting. I don't know whether everyone's going to have to play these or whether we're going to find some kind of countermeasures. Pancham, haven't seen that before. Like it's a little claymation Pancham. Ferris seed, a reverse Pidgey, and a. What were you only saying, like, in the last... Was it the last episode? I was like, dude, is there a Mr. Mime GX in this? 
magic odds breakdown and life change yes it's the same darn attacks as it was in um celestial storm really that's weird like i know all right cool enough like yeah all right mr mime's got a gx card <laughs> what in the world that's so that's so strange I don't think I've ever known them to reprint a card like so soon after it was originally printed. That's really weird. That that ability sucks as well. I played against it. It just really sucks. Like it's great if you're playing the Mr. Mime, but it sucks to play into. All right, next pack. Water type energy. We got Kabuto. That's cool. My little headlights, so good. Fairy charm, UB. Fairy charm, UB. My favourite of all the fairy charms. Charmeleon, execute. Ferris seed again. Another Nyarth. Another Alolan Jew dude. Another Grimer. Okay, cool. Finally, reverse rare Starmie. Cool. Nice card. Nice card. And a Primeape. Man, he's really been quaffuring that beard. That's pretty cool. That's something for me to aspire to. Mine's kind of thin on the ground at the moment. I shaved it off over Christmas. It was a stupid idea because now it's really cold. I'm like, dude, I've totally got to grow my beard back because... Number one, when I don't have a beard, you can see my double chins. And I'm very self-conscious about my double chin. <laughs> but number two, it's just warmer. Like, it saves me having to wear a scarf all the time. Seriously, these packs, what are they made out of? Kryptonite. Obviously, my kryptonite is Pokemon pack material. I can't open it. Ugh. Okay. Let's see. It's been a good part so far. I, what did I tell you, right? Rubbish pulls in the first part means just a part full of great cards. And we're not even halfway through the packs yet, are we? No, this is literally halfway. So, uh, I think there's another I think there's another GX in this yet. Maybe a full art. You know, I'm feeling the full art. Pawniard. Yeah, a Lowland Geodude. So that's two different artworks for a Lowland Geodude. Interesting. We got a reverse Klefki. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right, and a Mimikyu. That's going to go straight to the side because we've already pulled it in the Elite Trainer Box. Um, but I do like it. It is Mimikyu. I think I'm going to start collecting all of the Mimikyu cards. I did see that um, one of the blister packs, I think, for um, for Team Up has a um, holographic version of that same Mimikyu card in it. So I'm going to have to look out for that because, yeah, any hollow Mimikyu is pretty cool. I think um, as well there was a... Um, I'm sure there was a... Um, like Ashes Mimikyu. There was a special um, box set, I think, that you guys in America got a Lowland Graveler, pretty cool, um, which had a, a holographic Mimikyu in it, and it's super difficult to get over here, um, one of the promo cards. So that's like the only one I think that I'm missing at the moment, other than like GX's, because, you know, Celestial Storm hated me. <laughs> Pancham, we got a Reverse Tentacle, nice, actually looks really good, I like the artwork. I keep saying I like the artwork. The artwork in this set is just incredible. And Aerodactyl. I'm hitting the hitting the retro pokes in the rare slot. Oh, they got like pincer, kabutops, I think we've seen as well. That's pretty interesting. Ugh. I think the um I was saying the other day, like on uh, on Insta, I think someone someone was going on about like how good uh, Evolutions was as a set, and uh, I got me thinking like, what sets do I really want to see reprinted? I know there was like kind of almost like a Neo re was it Neo in Celestial Storm? There's a lot of Neo cards in there. But I you know what I would really like to see Jungle or Fossil get a solid reprint. I mean I know the cards aren't really playable, but even if they did it in like a set like Shining Legends or something like that. One of those kind of like buy the boxes, get the packs kind of thing. A bit like generations and stuff. Like, I would totally buy that. No kidding. I would totally buy that. Mandy the Buzz. And a Zeb Striker with Raid and Mac Bolt. If it evolved from Blitzel during this turn, does 90 more damage. Pretty cool. Like, it's a pretty solid card, really. If you're going to splash it, 
you know, for two. Ugh. If you're smart about when you evolve, you know, that's hitting for 120. Then you can devolve it somehow and just keep smashing every single turn. Devolve, re-evolve. Yeah, I mean, there's potential there with Zeb Striker. I think a lot of people saw a lot of potential. So I'd be very surprised if it doesn't find its way into some uh, into some decks. We've got an unidentified fossil. Farfetched. Is that another Farfetched artwork? I'm so lost right now. Tentacruel. How is that just uncommon? It should totally be rare. That would look awesome in Hollow, being like all underwater and stuff. Pidgey, Bronzor, Puccina, the sticker Pokemon. Nidoran, we got a Pancham. A reverse Charmander, nice. That's a good looking card. Chibi Charmander and a Dragonite. Really? You're going to double us down on hollows? As if there's not enough hollows in the set that we can just like pick a different one. Sheesh. I, I'm, I'm saying it now, I'm calling it. This is the set that hates us. We are never going to find Mimikyu and Gengar. I'm telling you now. Uh, I'm calling it. I'm calling it. That's it. You might as well just... Don't bother. You can switch off now. We're not going to get anything <laughs> the whole rest of it. In fact, the next couple of weeks. Don't. Come back in Come back in March and we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll do some, some different boxes. <laughs> some, something like... We'll go back to Shining Legends. That set liked us. Meowth. We've got Nidoran. Oh, Nidor yeah, Nidoran. Larvitar. <clears throat> Merciduck. A Vulpix, Metal Goggles. <sighs> okay, this is it. What's it gonna be? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say another Dragonite. <laughs> Alolan Golem. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm gonna sort these out. I'll be back in two ticks with a recap. <gasps> Twelve seconds later. So I think we kind of felt a little bit spoiled after Shining Legends, and I think it's good. It's a reality check in many ways, but it's also good to be back just pulling cards like regular cards you know not with the massively increased lost thunder pools not with the hollow in every pack shining legends we're just back to good old core pokemon packs right mr mime gx magic odds seriously prevent all damage under this pokemon by your opponent's attacks if that damage is exactly 10 30 50 70 90 110 130 150 170 190 210 230 250 that's it's not the same card it's a different card um, because the other Mr. Mime had magic evens. Uh, it's also got breakdown for each card in your opponent's hand, put one damage counter on that active Pokemon, uh, and life trick GX heal all damage. I think it's relatively similar, um, I've got a feeling. And Celebi and Venusaur GX, our first tag team GX card, and only tag team GX card. Um, yeah, wow, Pollen Hazard, Solar Beam, and Evergreen GX. It's an absolute beast, it's gonna be very tough to play against. Um, and I will be very excited to see it used in the deck. So, um, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. It was a much better part than last time. Three out of nine is not terrible. Um, it's not great because we still haven't got any kind of like full art. And we certainly still haven't got Mimikyu and Gengar. But we'll get there, I promise. Don't worry. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, ding the bell, all the usual nonsense that everyone always says. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.